please let us understand. Do you know what all this doing is done toward? Yeah. Church, please remember, remember. all of this is done to God. And if God say no, it's no. Never mind, Pastor Jennings. That's right. That's right. If God say no, who am I? The withstand God. Withstand God. Mm. When the Holy Ghost fell, I believe, on the Gentiles, they received the light gift like the apostles and the Jews. Yeah. And uh, the Jews jumped on them. The apostle responded, who was I? Who was I? The withstand God. That's right. When God started dealing with me, anyone that had been around me a long time, no. Oh, yeah. If God started dealing with that man, that man ain't going to shut up. No. Amen. No, you won't. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, no. I won't. I won't do it. And the reason why I won't do it because I read what happened to those who did it. Amen. And what happened to those that did it, it ain't happening to me. Right. So I have to lead you right. I'm not trying to lead you right. I'm going to lead you right. Amen. I'm not trying to do it at all. I'm going to do it. Think of all them background singers. Bunch of sinners. Wow. Amen. Probably had makeup on, probably had pants on while they were singing. Yeah. Half naked, breast hanging all out and smoking, drinking, who knows, partying. Who knows? No baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ, no Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. It ain't too many holy people making albums. No. Think of it. Not the song that the sinners sang. When holy people sing it, then it becomes holy. That's right. You didn't know that? That's right. It becomes holy when holy people holy sing it. People. Because now you can sing it with the understanding. That's right. Do you understand what I'm telling you? That's right. It becomes holy when the holy, sanctified, God-fearing believers say it. In other words, when the singer sang it, it's noise. Noise. So the holy take the noise. Yeah. And when the holy get a hold of the noise, now it sound good to God. Now it's, that's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. You get what I'm telling you? Amen. Hallelujah. Most spiritual songs that is sung was not made by holy sanctified people. Most spiritual songs that were sung, a lot of it came from slavery as a message in disguise of a song. That's right. So those that was trailblazers of slaves won't let the slave master know. He just thought you were singing, but it was a message. It was a code. That's right. That's right. That's right. And they used spiritual songs in the form of a code. Right. So the slaves that's trying to escape from the south towards the north would know what stopped the mate. Right. Stop at that person's house or that person's house. So an old slave was saying, go down yonder. The Lord is waiting. Go down yonder. The Lord is waiting. Go down yonder. The Lord is waiting by that tree over there. That tree on the north side of the river. Go over there. The Lord is waiting. That tree on the north side by that river. The Lord, you do understand what I'm telling you? Right. I just want to give you a historical background. So when the slaves were trailing from the south towards the north, they start hearing that saying, that song. Slave masters don't know what they're talking about. That's right. But they're looking at that one particular tree in the north. And 
the Lord down yonder, they ain't looking for Jesus. Right. The Lord down yonder mean a place of refuge, right. a hiding place. Wonderful teaching. Hallelujah. Wonderful teaching. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Amen. So when the Bible says sing with, with the spirit, sing with the understanding, if you have the understanding, you have to understand the origin of the lyrics. That's true. Because many times when a song was written, it had a different meaning of the time when it was sung. Are you listening? Amen. And some songs was called spiritual, but yet it was the spiritual in the form of worshiping God. It was called spiritual in some cases because of the culture that was hanging it. That's right. So you have to be able to look at noise. And let some holy sanctified people get it. Right. So it become a different noise. You see, there's two type of noises. There's a noise that God enjoy, and there's a noise that God don't want. Right. Someone say, what? Oh, yes. There's a noise that God don't want. He read that in Amos. That's right. But there is a noise that God wants. He said, make a joyful, a joyful noise, noise, joyful noise. Yeah. unto the Lord. the Lord. It's a joyful noise. That's right. And that noise is made with the, spirit with the Spirit and with understanding. That's right. Are you getting this music class? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. It's good Hallelujah. Yeah, glory. It's good teaching. Bro. Every culture sang spiritual hymns. And the sound of that music or that rhythm differs by culture. Right. The prominent style of the music of the islands is called reggae. But many of their spiritual songs still had that Caribbean flavor. Right. It's not reggae music, but it has that sound even in Africa that's right when I'm in Africa and the saints down there singing automatically when the moment they start singing and the congregation jump up everybody's moving when I say everybody everybody the mothers and the brothers be singing if they sing one 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 they, be, they don't sing it like us here in America they be one 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 way. The whole rhythm is different. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's wonderful. Are you listening? Amen. There's joyful noise. There's noise God don't want. God don't want. That's why the Bible said that it might be made known to the church the manifold wisdom of God. God loves his church and he make it his business that the church don't become behind in information. That's right. Because information improves our walk with him and sharpens our development with him so we can do better towards him, for him, and the church continue to grow. That's right. Pleasing him. Yeah. What good is having a crowd if they're not pleasing him? Amen. Now, do you see what I'm telling you? Amen. Having a crowd, but he ain't pleased with what's happening. Pleased. What good is the crowd? Yeah. Holy sanctified worship is holy sanctified worship. Yeah. That's why I would never have uh, guest choirs or sinners. I won't even have a guest choir from a church that's baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, but they got women preachers. I won't have it. No. no. In other words, I refuse to overlook our differences Amen. just so you can participate. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Because the apostle said, who make you to differ? Who make you to differ. Didn't he say so? That's right. 
And then he said, you all got to speak the same thing. Same thing. Right, well, in the world, I have a choir right here saying, and I know the preacher believe that you can divorce and remarry. Yeah. yeah. When I was on, we was on Frankfurt Avenue, Hezekiah Walker personally came to the church. Yeah. Yes, Him and some did. other fellas, they, been, they watched the telecast. Hezekiah Walker is baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, say he got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and under the organization from under Bishop R.C. Lawson, right. the churches of our Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith headquarters in New York. But he came to Frankfurt Avenue to meet me personally. Yeah. First time I met him. And uh, came on a Sunday night, him and a bunch of other fellas. He came up my, he wanted to talk with me, so uh, they told me Hezekiah Walker met you. I said, who? They said, Hezekiah Walker downstairs. I said, well, bring him up. Shook my hand, we embraced, we talked. He said, I just want you to know you're my hero. <laughs> he said, you're my hero. And he said, listen, pastor, you preach things that I wish I can preach. He said, things you say over the pulpit, he said, I wish I can say. He said, out of all the holiness preachers, you're the most strictest. He said, not only that, you have became one of the most known. Yeah. And you are known for your strictness. He said, I got to admit, we're not like that. I said, I know. <laughs> he said, but you're my hero. Can this choir sing? Yes. Oh, yes. Many of them are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and say they have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. But if you look at them, you think you're looking at a bunch of barroom dancers. That's true. That's right. That's right. We're going to keep holiness holy. holy. Keep it holy. That's right. Keep it holy. All the musicians praise God to the fullness of your God-given talent. That's right. You don't have to hold back your talent here. God gave it to you. Let it go. Wonderful. Never look at singing or playing an instrument as if you're entertaining or performing for people. The moment you look at it as you're entertaining or performing for people, right then, you lost sight on God. Lost sight on it. That's right. That's right. Always look at it for what it's supposed to be. Supposed to be. God first. And I'm giving him this service. That's right. Because he gave me this talent. Come on, come on, Pastor. Yes, sir. Thank you. So I, I, I want to play skillfully, skillfully. Yes, for him. That's right. That through my talent, the Spirit of God can move. Give me the Old Testament when the musician played. Yeah. And the prophet began to prophesy. That's right. I believe in the book of Kings. Kings. Yep. In the book of 2 Kings. Follow me. 2 Kings chapter 3. And we'll start reading in verse 14. I, Todd, forgive me. I, no, no I called him up here because I wanted him to speak and I, I didn't have. Thank you, I, I didn't. I, I, I didn't. Sound like me, Pastor. I just wanted to say a few things and get this straightened out and let Todd's the evangelist turn loose because. Hey Amen. I, I, I know if he is up, he make it his business to stay with the word of God. Yes, he does. Listen at this. Second Kings chapter 3, we'll start at verse 14. I want to help all of us. Amen. Listen. Second Kings chapter 3, we'll start at verse 14. All right. And Elijah said, as the Lord of hosts liveth. As the Lord of hosts live. Before whom I stand, surely were it not that I regard the presence of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah. Yes. I will not look toward thee nor see thee. But now bring me a minstrel. Bring me a minstrel. Bring me a musician. 
That's right. Uh -huh. And it came to pass when the minstrel played. When the instrumentalist played. That the hand of the Lord. Oh, here, 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 here. Amen. That the hand of God came upon him. Came upon him. And he said, thus saith the Lord. What? And he said, thus saith the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm. Don't tell me, brother. Hallelujah. You can Hallelujah. bring a song mm. until the spirit get in that thing. Hallelujah. And even them that don't have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost can fall on them. The hand of the Lord came upon him. Hallelujah. Do you hear what the Bible says? And it came to pass when the minstrel played. That's why when a song is being sung, everybody get in it. That's right. It's like when sometime when we go in a webcast and they turn the service in my hands and I open up with a song, some folk be standing and looking. Looking. Lord, that God, let's blast the roof off. That's right. That's right. Look how loud and noisy you were when you were the sinner. All right, listen. Oh, yes. What of God says what? And it came to pass when the minstrel played. When the minstrel played. That the hand of the Lord came upon him. Hand of God came on him. And he said, thus saith the Lord. And he said, thus saith the Lord. Make this valley full of ditches. Hmm. Spirit of the Lord came That's upon right. the messenger. That's right. Make this valley full of dishes. For thus saith the ditches. Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Ye shall not see wind. You won't see wind. Neither shall ye see rain. Oh, see rain. Yet that valley Yet shall the be filled valley with water. Shall be filled with water. That ye may drink. Mm. Amen. Give me some music. Bring me a minstrel. That the Lord came on the prophet. That's right. Because there was a famine. That's right. The colonel mind would think, well, in order for it to be some water, there got to be some rain. The Lord <laughs> said, no, I don't need rain to water nothing. Nothing. Ye you shall go, not see. You, you go throughout the valley and dig ditches. That's right. I'm going to fill the ditches with water. Yes. Yeah. But. Ye shall not see wind. I'm not even going to bring no wind. Neither shall ye see rain. And I'm not going to bring rain. But. Yet, yet that yet valley. That valley. Shall be filled with water. Shall be filled with water. That ye may drink. Glory That's to wonderful. God that you may drink. Amen. So when you play your instruments, play skillfully. Play skillfully. Glorify God. That's right. And never play for compliments. Never be a performer. That's right. Never be an entertainer. Amen. But always be a worshiper That's of right. the Most High. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. God is a spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Glory to God. And they that worship him. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him. I've seen the Holy Ghost fall on seekers. Go ahead. Our song was being sang. I've seen folk. Seeking the Holy Ghost broke out speaking in tongues. I seen folk never danced in the spirit in their life. Holy Ghost came on. Hallelujah. Broke out dancing in the spirit, speaking in tongues. Mm. Spirit of God got all in the song. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Always keep in mind, church is about serving God. That's right. Don't lose sight on that regardless of the program, regardless of what you're doing. Amen. It's about serving God. That's it. That's it. This is where church has failed. The so-called apostolic that went way out of left field. They stopped serving God and church became a ritual. Yeah. Go to church because the Saturday, go to church because the Sunday, give money, hear some preacher yell and scream. That's but true. they're not even thinking. Is God satisfied? That's it. Think from that perspective. That's it. That's it. Is God satisfied? Yeah. Is God pleased? Yeah. Is my offering?
bring a sweet smell in yeah. Savior. That's right. 